<clears throat> Good morning, America. It's Coffee Town Cobra. Didn't think I'd be making this video today. Really didn't. Um, simply put, uh, got contacted by my uh, immigration legal representative, aka my lawyer, that I've had on retainer for the last eight years. Um, because it's taken that long to get even where I'm at in the immigration system simply because of my military past. Um, the majority of my military file is redacted due to some of the active combat zones I was in. Um, even though we're part, some of it was usually joint task for JTF, Joint Task Force, with um, US forces, some French forces, some German forces, etc., etc. Um, still some of the uh, um, my file is redacted and um, that's pissing off US immigration they seem to think I'm some sort of British Al Qaeda whatever so they won't grant me my full citizenship just yet I've got a marriage visa and everything else I can legally stay here I just can't legally work which is pissing me off because I used to be able to work um, I have several temp social security numbers that they issued me that allowed me to work, that allowed me to, to put into the social security system, to, to put into the unemployment system, to, 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 to everything, but now I can't even file for food stamps, I can't even file for, for unemployment, I can't file for anything. They had to remove me from my wife's food stamps case. So yeah, go freaking figure. Well, the reason why I haven't been live streaming and the reason why my last message on Discord was um, I may be going back home to England <clears throat> is because of the changes that uh, have recently been made by President Trump. Um, this happens to me every time we get a new president. I'm, I'm contacted by my lawyer and uh, he informs me of the changes and what it's going to do. Get off his face! and what it will do to my... You're welcome, sausage. Mm, love you too. Ah! Sausage! The sausage! Go on, in the house. Go on. Good boy. Good boy. And what it will do to my uh, immigration case. Um, and and we're, we're basically, if it resets stuff or if it pushes certain things ahead, because Trump actually, for some reason, he's got a loophole currently in his immigration reform, where if you do have an active service history with another country and you do take your Pledge of Allegiance, you are now considered a uh, active something or other for the um, uh, US National Guard or... or, or whatever or the militia or some crap like that that's how it reads basically my lawyer sent me over a dhl ups whatever you want to call it a packet that was like fucking two inches thick and i had to read it uh, that's why i haven't been live streaming recording or anything i've literally been reading about my fate in this country um some of it scared me some of it brought me to tears um some of it made me happy some of it made me joyous um but all in all, I'm still confused about a lot of it. Um, and my immigration lawyer, I've only met him once face to face. Everything else has been done through either email, uh, Skype, or uh, um, regular mail. We haven't seen face to face in almost eight years, um, which is scary because his office over in Price is gone. Hi. Literally, his office over in Price is gone now. It's, it's no longer his law office, it's another lawyer's law office. He moved. And um, so, yeah, I'm worried because I'm, I'm still sending him freaking like 150 something dollar checks, 153, 156, something like that. It's, a, it's the most stupidest amount. Hammy! Hammy! Get your butt in the house. We're not playing this game. Come on, son. Could you take the most longest convoluted way to get into a house from a straight line? Yes, you could. Dang that hammy. Well, anyway, like I said, and I'm still sending him checks. And I want to know what's going on. So if any of you guys who watch my channel are 
law lawyers or know the law system pretty well, paralegal, stuff like that, who, uh, you know, hopefully specialise in, in, in um, immigration. Can you please uh, uh, send me a contact, send me a message on YouTube or send me a uh, direct email at deceptivecobras at gmail.com. Um, links will be in the video description down below. Um, because I honestly think my lawyer's giving me the run around. He's just, you know, he is cashing my checks. And I looked and they're getting cashed in St. George, which is in Utah. And I'm just worried that I'm being taken for a ride, you know? Or if I have to get, <clears throat> get a new lawyer and start from scratch, which means I've got to leave the country anyway if I would. Because it's only under rare circumstances where you can file while you st are still within the U.S. And I think I qualify for those rare circumstances. Um, I'm my wife's primary health care giver. Um, I went through all the training to be her massage therapist for her legs, her spine. Because my wife, uh, the Baroness is disabled, guys. Um, she suffers from lumbar spinal stenosis. It's a genetic disorder where her spine... Uh, the cartilage in her spine is uh, slowly calcifying and turning into bone. And it's uh, also, <clears throat> when it does that, it creates bone spurs, like little spears. They actually start cutting into the nervous system because it grows, it grows inwards, not outwards. Okay? Uh, and so she's had to have several operations already to have them, uh, um, some bone chips some spurs removed um which is why when she when, when, during our live stream she'll yell i need help and you just see me get up and just go because she could be in the shower or or she could just be trying to make a sandwich and she'll lose all feeling in her legs because one of her bone spurs shifted in her sleep the night before um so yeah that's why I do it, guys. It's not because I, I don't love you guys. I do. I love every single one of you guys in the nation. It's just... I have to take care of my wife first. I have to take care of the Baroness first. And in order for me to take care of the Baroness right now, I've got to take care of me. And it's awkward because this is March... Um, March 5th, I think? Yeah, March 5th. Today's March 5th. And it's my birthday on the 17th. And... I, want, I did want something for my birthday, but I feel selfish saying it. I do. I, I feel really fucking horrible and selfish saying it. And all I want to do right now is just take care of my wife. I just want to make sure that she's okay, she's comfortable, she's not in pain. And I can't do that with this fear ho hovering over my head uh, uh, of all it takes is a pen stroke from an orange-skinned, wig-wearing, fat-faced fucktard, and I'm gone. And you got to understand British law, because I even have a barrister back in England, and I contacted him and I said to him, if I'm deported from the States to England, what's going to happen to me? He said, you'll be retained for six months uh, in the nearest prison, which means I'll be held without charge for six months. Six months, I'll be held minimum while they review my case and see if I've broken any British laws while I've been here in the States, i.e. tax evasion, you name it, and they'll start building a case against me. All the while, I'm not allowed to contact a lawyer. I'm not allowed to bring any kind of legal defense to myself until the day I'm given a court date, which is usually given to you 24 hours before you show up. So I'll have to have a barrister go through six months worth of work in 24 hours which is damn near almost impossible for a single barrister to do. So I've got to go ahead and hire a great big fucking named firm, you know, like it's an episode of Suits or some shit, you know, and I don't have that money. Fuck, I've barely got enough money to keep my, my wife's truck up, up and running on the road. See, this is the thing, guys. Most people don't seem to understand this. If you guys don't donate, if you guys don't sub, if you guys don't, don't you know, show me any acts of kindness... I can't stream. I can't buy the new AAA title. I can't do this. I can't do that. You know, even if I go to a key key warehouse and I get the game ten dollars cheaper than I would if I was to buy it directly from, I still can't do it. I still can't do it. I have to cash out my Game Wisp every three months for twenty-five dollars and change. 
and that 25 bucks nine times out of ten ends up going in the gas tank of my truck I've got friends that contact me they they message me and say hey uh, uh, can you cover my shift uh, 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 this power plant or that power plant because they're still security guards and I'm still I'm still certified for for personal defense I, I still have my certification for the next four years. I paid for that certification. It cost me $1,800. I have my certification for self-defense. And because I used to be a security guard at the power plants. But when Obama took over and started shutting down the power plants, the power plants started getting all scareful and started firing people left, right and center. And the first sets to go, usually the first guy is in. You're first in, so you're first out, you know? And I started working there for about three months, and all of a sudden, out of fucking nowhere, you know, we all got a, 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 a letter with our names written on it, opened up inside it was a severance check and a letter of apology, saying due to the Obama administration, uh, uh, green, green something initiative, uh, we are forced to shut down this power plant, this power plant, and this power plant, and fire over 1,700 people. In a community of 3,000? That damn near killed this little town that I live in. And that's when I bought my new rig uh, and everything else for Twitch. And I literally put all my eggs in my Twitch basket. I haven't been streaming on Twitch because, in all honesty, I don't know what to stream, guys. Um, plus my health. Uh, my health has been declining lately. Um, just near Christmas, I had a, a stomach issue. Um, we've got that looked at. I found the doctor did find some lumps. I still haven't had those checked out yet. I really should, um, but I'm not even 40, and I, they're finding polyps in my in my colon because of stress. And if it turns out to be cancer, I I don't have the money to fight it. I don't. I just don't have the money to fight it. Even if I go home back to England and go on the NHS and have the NHS help me, I don't have the money. I just, I just don't. I don't, and I'm not gonna put my wife in debt. I'm not gonna put anyone in debt. I'd rather die, plain and simple. I put my life on the line f for England. And England treats me like shit. And I'm too old to join the US Army. I tried. I tried. I'm out by three years. I even took my old service papers with me and showed them to him. And the sergeant looks at me and goes, I'm more qualified than he is to be in that building. He even saluted me. I mean, he told me I'm, I'm three years too old. I'm like, what about National Guard? What about, you know, reserves, something, anything? Sorry, mate, you're too old. You're used up. You're useless. That's what it feels like. Then my depression kicked in. And so has my PTSD. That's kicked in several times. It's... it's Last uh, late last month, early this month, that kicked in several times. Haven't told anyone. Too embarrassed. Yeah, I'm not embarrassed to tell complete strangers on the internet, but I am embarrassed to tell the woman that I love. My stepdaughter. My family, my friends. why this video is going up um, as is and I am gonna try and stream today probably heroes and generals because it's clear you guys don't like the division 
I posted three videos and each video has only got like maybe 20 views and no comments, not even thumbs up or thumbs down. So it's clear you guys don't want any division content on my YouTube channel, so I'm going to probably delete those videos and just never put any any division content up. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll most likely do... Um, I must like I must likely go back to H and G. Oh yes, I know about the medic packs. I'm the one that talked about medic packs God years ago. A year ago, two years ago, when I got first got back into H and G. I turned around and did a whole video tutorial on, on where the med packs should go. There should be ribbons and, and everything else and how you can replenish them and, and, and everyone was like, Oh yeah, you're just being stupid. I'm like, how am I being stupid? You know, it's right there on the freaking tank driver's hip. What do you see? A medic pouch. It's right there on the GI's belt, right behind him. Left cheek, left butt cheek. What's above it? Oh, a medic pouch. You know, it just makes sense. You overhauled the the gunplay mechanics. Now you got to look at the back end. Now you got to now you got to look at the 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 um the the. The, the healing side, you know, heck, if, um, I might even go ahead and make buy a new uh, soldier for each faction and just make them medics, you know, and actually just have like a medic role now, a dedicated medic role, medic, you know, go with a, a jeep, go with a freaking, you know, with a medic bag on the jeep and the medic, medic pouches on me and, and, and just be a medic, you know, that would be pretty fun. Like, you know what I might do? I might do a, a thing during my live stream today. What weapons would suit a medic role? You know, kind of thing. Um, that's twitch.tv slash deceptive cobras. Yes, I'll probably stream today just to try and cheer myself up. Um, but before then, I've got to go see a man about a wallaby. Uh, if you don't know what that means, that means I've got to go see a man about buying a car. Um, I want to buy... Uh, a muscle car, another muscle car for myself. I sold my Mustang, and I want something to tweak on during the summer and drive, you know, up to the canyon, Joe's Valley, stuff like that. Maybe down to St. George, you know, maybe Moab. You know, heck, maybe just like I said, just drive it till the wheels fall off and then put the wheels back on. Hold up, you know. Anyway, hasta luego, mis amigos. See you later, muchachos.